at Cornell University, mechanical engineering majors perform physical testing of a bicycle crank design that's subjected to some loads. It's primarily a bending load. And this module considers um, an ANSYS model of that setup. So the experimental setup looks like this. This is one of the designs of the, the crank tested. And you fix it at this end over here and you apply a load in over here, it's going to be um, downwards. And we will do an ANSYS model that corresponds to this setup. So you bring in the geometry into ANSYS, um, as we'll do in this module. And we will fix these three holes over here. And that corresponds to this, uh, the, the constraints over here. And then we'll apply a, a load on, on this little surface over here that corresponds to this load over here. You need to kind of turn this around um, to get you know, this orientation. So the, the model is oriented over here a little bit differently than in the experimental setup. And before we get into answers to set up this, uh, this problem, and look at the results, we need to do the pre-analysis. And the first thing to do is the mathematical model. The mathematical co model consists of governing equations defined in a domain and boundary conditions defined at the edges of the domain. As I've talked about before, these types of models are called boundary value problems. And these appear very frequently in engineering analysis. In this case, the domain uh, over which we need to solve the governing equations are given by the geometry of the crank. Compare that to the domain that we had in the big ideas in FEA. Over there, our domain was a line from x equal to 0 to x equal to L. It's the same idea. So you, you can see we have really ramped up the complexity of the domain. And we've gone from 1D to 3D. And we can do that because we have uh, answers at our disposal, and it'll, it can solve boundary value problems that are defined in, in complex domains. So first we look at the governing equations, and then we look at the boundary conditions. The governing equations are based on equilibrium of an infinitesimal chunk of material within the crank. and we write f equal to ma. So this is, you know, these ideas we have seen in the big ideas in, in solid mechanics. So we say, hey, you know, the chunk of material um, deform, you know, after deformation, it just comes to the rest. So there's no acceleration. So we're ignoring any kind of dynamic effects. This is a static analysis. And so it reduces to f equal to ma reduces to doing a force balance or a free body diagram on the little chunk of material. And you get the 3D differential equations of equilibrium, which we saw in the big ideas in, in solid mechanics. Um, and we don't have body forces. Gravity is not important here. We have three equations from force balance in x, y, and z directions. We have six unknown fields. We have three normal stresses, and we have three shear stresses. So we need to bring in additional equations to close the equation set. That's what we will look at next.